Okay, for this project, I'm going to be using a size I, five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And the yarn I'm using is just uh, scraps of different colors that I have in my basket. Um, but they're, it's all four ply yarn. So any scraps that you have will work. So I'm going to start with a chain of four. And then I'm going to slip stitch in the first stitch to form a ring. Like that. Now I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to do 16 half doubles through the center of the ring. I'm doing half doubles. So, two, three, four, five. Okay, once you get your 16 half double crochets through the center of the ring, you want to go ahead and slip stitch in your first one and that will close that round off. I'm just going to tie this collar off like that. Clip it and everything. And I'm going to start with a new color. And you can start in any stitch that you want to start in. But what we're going to be doing is only working and the front loops. You can see how the loops have, or the stitches, they have two loops. You can see them both on my hook there. We're only going to be working this time around in the front loops like that. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go through the front loop of any stitch that you want. Pull the yarn through. Okay. Now I'm going to do a chain of two. And that chain two is counting as a half double crochet. Now I'm going to go back into the same stitch going in the front loop only and I'm going to do three double crochets. So one, two, three, and now I'm going to do a chain two again. And then I'm going to come down and slip stitch in the same stitch. So what I did was a chain two, three doubles, a chain two, and then a slip stitch all in the same stitch. So the next stitch right here I'm going to slip stitch into, but I'm just going to go into the front loop of it and slip stitch. And then I'm going to go to the next stitch and I'm going to slip stitch into the front loop only. And now I'm going to make another petal. I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to do three double crochets. One, two, three. And then I'm going to chain two again and slip stitch back into the same stitch. And that's another petal. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next stitch and slip stitch into the front loop only. The next stitch, slip stitch into the front loop only. And then I'll form a petal on this spot. So I'm going to chain two, go through, and do three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, come back down, slip stitch into the same stitch. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch, front loop only, and then the next stitch I'm going to slip stitch into front loop only, and this is where I'll do another petal, chain two, 
And now I'm going to do three doubles. One, two, three, chain two, back in the same stitch again, slip stitch. So that's the pattern all the way around. The next stitch, you just slip stitch into the front loop and then slip stitch into the next stitch into the front loop and then we'll make another petal chain two three doubles one two three chain two slip stitch back into the same stitch like that so just repeat this pattern until you get back to the beginning and you should have a total of eight petals. Okay, I made it back around and I just did my eighth petal. Now I'm going, I got one stitch left, so I'm going to slip stitch into the front loop of it like that. Now we're going to be working in the back loops of the same stitch that we didn't go into before. So I'm going to fold these back so I can see. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the back loop of the first stitch. You should see it right there. Right there. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the back of the next loop. And if you look, you'll notice that it's in between these two. So that's where I want to make my next petal, in between, the loop in between these. So I'm in that loop, so I'm going to do a chain three this time. And now I'm going to yarn over twice, and in the same loop, I'm going to do four triple crochets. So there's one. two, three, and four, and then I'm going to chain three again, slip stitch back into the same loop, like that. Okay, now I'm going to go find the next loop, and I'm going to slip stitch into it. And then I'm going to go to the next one, which is going to be in between the next two petals. Slip stitch into it, and that's where I'll make my next petal, which will be a chain three. Yarn over twice, and I'm going to do four triple crochets. One. Two. four, chain three, go back into the same loop, and slip stitch. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the next loop. And then the next loop is going to be in between these two, right back here. Right here. Slip stitch. And that's where I'll make my next petal, which will consist of chain three, four triples, and then a chain three, and then slip stitch back into the same loop. stitch back into the same loop. And then 
just going to repeat this pattern all the way around. Slip stitch into the next loop. And then slip stitch into the next loop, which will be between the two petals up here. Chain three and do my petal again. So you just want to repeat this all the way around. And at the end, you should have a total of eight petals again. Eight on this row. I guess 16 all together. You'll have eight on this row and then eight on the top row. So, Okay, I made it back around and I just did my eighth petal. So now I'm going to slip stitch into the next loop. And then... I can tie this off okay straighten it out a little bit that's what I got so far now I'm going to start making the little leaves around it We're going to be working back here on the second row, and I'm going to be slip stitching in this spot in between, in between the petals. I'll show you here, like right here, and here. So just be slip stitching in between the petals. You see this spot right here. That's where we'll be working. So what you want to do is just go into one of them spots right now. Any of them that you want. And go ahead and pull your yarn through. To start. And I'm going to do a chain. Of five. And then I'm going to come right across the front and slip stitch back, slip stitch into this in between the next set of petals. So let's go in there and slip stitch it. And then I'm going to chain five again. All just came out. Do that again. Sorry. Okay. Then I'm going to chain five again. Probably got to hold these petals back. And then I'm going to come over here in between the next petals and slip stitch in between them. It's kind of awkward. I wish you could see it better, but so right in between them. Slip stitch. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Come over here in between the next set of petals. Slip stitch. Chain five. Slip stitch in between the next set. And that's what you want to do the whole way around. Slip stitch, chain five, slip stitch, chain five. Okay, and I come back around to where I started, and I'm just going to slip stitch into the first stitch that I slip stitched into. I'm just going to slip stitch again. 
like that. Pull up a loop real quick. So now what I want to do is, oh, I got to push these loops behind these pedals. Like this. So we're going to be working on behind. Just like that. Now I'm going to put my needle back in place. And starting with this first loop here. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the loop. And then I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to single crochet into the same loop. And then I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to come over to the next loop. I'm going to do a triple crochet three together in this next loop. So I'm going to yarn over twice, go into the loop, and start to do a triple crochet. Yarn over and go through the first two, yarn over and go through two again, and instead of yarning over and going through, I'm going to leave these two loops on my hook and yarn over twice and go back through again. I'm going to do that again. Yarn over and go through the first two, the next two, and I'm going to leave these on my hook. Yarn over twice again. Do the same thing. Yarn over and go through the first two, the first two, and I'll have four loops on my hook because there's my three triple crochets. And now I'm just going to yarn over and go through all four loops. And that's how you do a triple crochet three together. And now I'm going to chain three. And I'm still going to be working in the same loop. Now I'm going to, um, I don't really, I, I guess it's a double, triple crochet three together. So I'm going to yarn over, grab it three times, go in, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two two again and two again and leave the last two that's on my hook. Wrap three times, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, first two, first two, wrap three times, I'm going to do that one more time, draw up a loop, Yarn over and go the first two loops, the next two loops, yarn over in the next two loops, and then I'll have four loops on my hook, yarn over and go through all four. Now I'm going to chain three again, and now I'm going to do this again. I'm going to triple crochet three together. So yarn over twice go into the same loop again. These are all going in the same loop. Yarn over and go through the first two and two again. Leave these loops on my hook. Wrap twice. Drop a loop. Go through the first two. Yarn over, go through the first two. Leave these loops on my hook. Wrap twice. Yarn over and go through the first two first two, four loops on my hook, yarn over and go through all four, like that. And those three sets were all done in the same loop. Now I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to move to the next loop, and I'm going to single crochet into the next loop, like that. And now I'm going to move to the next loop, chain three, and I'm going to do this again in the next loop. So I'm going to start with a triple crochet, three together, yarn over twice, go in, yarn over and go through the first two loops, yarn over and go through the next two loops, yarn over twice, go into the loop, draw a loop, 
Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over, go through the next two. I'll leave these loops on my hook. Wrap twice. Draw up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two. The next two. Yarn over, go through all four loops on my hook. Triple crochet three together. Chain three. Now I'm going to do the, I think it's a double, triple, whatever this was over here, or, or a quadruple stitch. I'm not sure, but yarn over three times, go into the same loop, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, yarn over and go through the next two, yarn over and go through the next two, leave these loops on my hook, wrap three times, go into the loop, draw up a loop, Yarn over and go through the first two. Yarn over and go through the next two. Yarn over and go through the next two. Leave these loops on my hook. Wrap three times. Go in one more time. First two. Next two. Next two. And then you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all four. Chain three. And now I'm going to do this again. The triple crochet three together just like we did just like that and I'm going to chain three again and now I'm going to jump over to the next loop and I'm going to single crochet in it chain three Go to the next loop and I'm going to work my leaf stitches again. So I'm going to triple crochet three together. Chain three. And then in the same loop, do my double, tri triple, three together. Chain three. Triple crochet three together again. Chain three. Go to the next loop. Single crochet. Chain three. And in the next loop, we will do our leaves again. I just did my last leaf set, so I'm going to chain three again. And then I'm going to slip stitch right here in my very first single crochet that I did. And then I'm going to clip this off. And now I'm going to go around it all. Straighten it out here a little bit. So I'm going to take my next color. And I'm going to start right here in the top of this tallest stitch. You can see it right there go right into that and that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start by doing a chain three. I'm going to go back into the same stitch and do a double crochet. And then I'm going to chain two. Go back in the same stitch again and do two more doubles. So I'm forming the corner of the square. Like that. Now I'm going to jump over here to this chain three space 
I'm going to put three double crochets. One, two, three, and then in the next chain three space, I'm going to put three doubles. One, two, three, and then in this next one, three doubles. Three doubles in the next chain three space. And now I'm going to come up on this corner. I'm at the, my tallest leaf again. So I'm going to form a corner right here in this stitch. So I'm going to put two doubles, chain two. And two more doubles all in that same stitch. Now I'm going to work around again, putting three double crochets in each of the chain three spaces. And this is a pattern you want to just keep going around, putting three doubles in each of the chain three spaces, like that. And then when you get to your tallest sleeve, the stitch right up here that holds them all together, you do your two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. Okay, I made it all the way around. Now I'm just to close off, I'm going to slip stitch into the top of our very first chain three. And then I can tie it, clip this off. And you can go around again if you want a bigger square, but then you probably have to straighten up your flower a little bit, pull out, straighten out my corners, and that is it. That's all there is to it. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel, and please check out all my other tutorials. I have a lot of tutorials on a lot of crochet things. Um, if you make this or anything else, you can always check me out on Facebook and post a picture of it. I'd really like to see it. And until next time, have a good day.